Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and it's time for another unboxing. I just got in on loan the Predator Helios 300 from Acer. This is a gaming laptop, which of course has a discrete GPU on board. This one is equipped with an i7-11800H processor. It's got a 1080p 144Hz display and an RTX 3060 GPU along with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And I'm going to unbox this now and then we'll have a full review of this coming up soon so you can see exactly what it is capable of. And I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure, this is on loan from Acer. So when we're done with this, it goes back to them. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this unboxing, nor is anyone reviewing or approving it before it gets uploaded. And there are boxes within a box here. So the box that you just saw actually comes in another box because they include a little sleeve here. It's not quite a bag, but a sleeve uh, for your laptop if you wish to carry it around with you. All right, so let's open up the box here. And this presumably is the laptop. And it's already covered up here with a piece of cloth. And there's nothing else in this particular box, so we'll set it aside. And this is the underside of the laptop. And this is the upper portion here. It's got some nice rear cooling here along with some pretty aggressive uh, looking cooling uh, on the bottom. Let's take a look at the ports and then we'll open it up and see what else we've got here. Uh, so this is an Intel based machine. So you've got a Thunderbolt port over here, USB 3 and HDMI, a mini display port. We don't see those too often anymore, but this one's got it. And then on the back here, there is just the power connector. And then on the other side, we have a Kensington lock, some more venting, built-in Ethernet, which is always nice to see, two USB 3 ports over here, and a headphone microphone jack. All right, let's open it up now and see what it looks like inside. Pretty attractive looking gaming laptop. It's all metal here on the keyboard deck, but it does have a bunch of plastic on it as well, including on the bottom here and on the bezels. 720p webcam, you've got your 1080p, 144 hertz display here. Uh, this has a three millisecond response rate, which means you shouldn't see too much blurring of the image when you've got a lot of animation on screen. Uh, the keyboard looks pretty good on this. I'll give you the overhead shot. It is an RGB keyboard. You'll see it light up when we do the full review. And the keys have a decent amount of travel to them. It actually feels pretty nice to type on. Maybe not as deep as some of the Lenovo legions we've looked at recently, but certainly a lot deeper than some of your average laptops out there. Doesn't feel all that heavy either. I believe it is just under five pounds and it's definitely looking pretty good here. But what I wanna do now is open up the bottom and see what we can upgrade on this machine. All right, let's open it up now. And it was not too hard to get into it. I just had to remove a whole bunch of screws that you can see here, but they're all just Phillips head screws, nothing too complicated there. And then you loosen things up towards the back and off it comes. You can get a good look at the cooling system here now. Uh, you do have upgradable memory on this. It's got 16 gigabytes installed. You have your NVMe drive right here along with your wireless card. This has a killer Wi-Fi built in, which I assume is going to support Wi-Fi 6. Over here, you've got another NVMe slot. And then here you have room for a SATA hard drive. But what I don't see in looking at this is an adapter cable to connect that drive. And sometimes these are in the box, but I didn't see it in the box for the review loaner that I received. But I think it might connect up right over here. So it looks like you've got a lot of storage capacity on here if you can find that uh, SATA adapter with the other NVMe, the one you've got, and the SATA on board. So even though this has a Thunderbolt port, which will allow for power delivery, it's not enough for a gaming laptop like this one. So you've got to walk around with the big power brick here. Uh, this is a 230 watt power supply, which is needed to power its processor and its GPU. It's got a good length of a cable on it along with the cable to connect to the wall. So you shouldn't have any issue with cable length here. And look what's in the box, the SATA adapter for that extra hard drive. So it is included. So you can have your two NVMEs and your SATA drive here. They even give you screws for connecting that SATA drive to the case here. So lots of great expansion on this one. 
and we're going to come back and do a full review of its performance in the very near future, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Brian Parker, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Baby Metal Fox God, Tom Albrecht, Amda Brown, Matt Zagaya, and Tech Time with Eric. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.